this video, I'm going to show you five summer nail art designs. I've done research and haven't found quite the like of these. I'll be using real sand and watermelon seed in two of my designs. Let's get started. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Claris. I'm a YouTuber nail artist. Let's get started with my first design. First, make sure your nails are clean. I like to use a Q-tip dipped in acetone and rub that along the, my nail plate. First up, the Icy Bomb Popsicle. I think this design turned out so cool. Let me show you how I did it. First, apply base coat. I'm using a peel-off base coat so that I can peel off my manicure after I'm done. These are the things we will need because we're going to do a gradient. I have a white nail polish, a red one, and a dark blue one. And I also have a triangular makeup sponge. But first, to help with cleanup, I'm going to apply liquid latex tape around my finger. Just paint it anywhere you want to protect from the polish. Alright, so now I'm painting the polishes in rows on the makeup sponge. The red will be at the tip of the nail. Next is white. And then add a row of blue. Alright, let's dab it on. It's not quite opaque enough though. Let's do another coat. There we go, that's looking more like it. Now I'm taking a wooden cuticle pusher and just picking up one end of that liquid latex. I'm just going to peel that off Wow, look at that! Saves so much cleanup time. But I'm just going to use a cleanup brush dipped in acetone to tidy up around the sides. There we go. Alright, 20 minutes later, it's all dry. I'm going to add a holographic top coat. This is a scattered top coat, which is perfect for this design because we don't want too many hollow glitters covering up the nice design under it. There, and two and a half minutes later, it is dry. That's the completed design. Next up, hollow fireworks. I thought this design turned out really neat. Let me show you how I did it. First, apply base coat. I'm using a peel off base coat again. And then just paint your nail black. I'm using Cert Colors Black. It's opaque in one coat. Now using your holographic color of choice, I'm just painting a little bit of it on the end of a detail brush. And here you can see that I practiced how to make the uh, firework effect idea. It's like a little comma, so just put pressure in the beginning and then just lighten up so it gets thinner at the end. Kind of looks like a flower. All right, looks pretty good, but I think you need something. Grab another hollow for some detailing. This is a gold greenish color hollow. It's hard to tell, but it's really pretty and I think it complements the purple, so I'm going to add some detailing. At the tip of the nail, I'm going to add a dotted line where the firework came up from. Beautiful. 20 minutes later, it is dry, so we're going to add a top coat. 
you ever brush the top coat over the nail really slowly to see if it's smearing? That's kind of what I'm doing here. But 20 minutes was enough time. Next up is foamy waves. Now I can't remember the name of the technique I used in this design, so I'm going to show you the tutorial. And if you know what it's called, let me know in the comments. So you will need a light blue, a dark blue, and a blue glitter or hollow. And I'm using a brush that's kind of shaped like a rectangle almost with kind of a flatter end. Let's practice. So I'm going to drop one of each color polish next to each other onto my mat. And that's what it looks like. We're just going to stick in our brush. And it looks like it's already drying, but that's okay. We can make do. So just scoop up some of those colors and then wiggle it around swirl it around on the mat. You don't want to mix up the colors too much. But yeah, it kind of looks like foamy ocean waves. Alright, let's do it for real. So just scoop up some of those colors. Just going to paint it onto the nail in a kind of swirly way. You can kind of swirl in any way you want. And I'm just going to add a little more to the top of the cuticle. Alright, looking good! 20 minutes later, it's now dry and I'm going to add a top coat as well as a rhinestone. So gently brush on the top coat and make sure to wrap the tip and I just have this little blue rhinestone I got in my kit and just place that in the wet top coat near the cuticle and just push it down right into it like that. Beautiful! Next up is the original waterberry. It was supposed to be a watermelon, so I put on a watermelon seed, but it also looks like a strawberry, so I don't know what to call it. I just called it a waterberry. So first, add a base coat, and we'll need a red and a light green nail polish. First, paint your nail red, and clean up if you need to with a cleanup brush dipped in acetone, it's great for making the edges of your nail neat. Next, we're going to make the watermelon rind. So I have some French tip nail vinyls from Twinkle Tea. Just peel one up and place it near your cuticle. And just press it down with the tweezers so no polish will sneak out. And then just go in with your light green polish and fill in that area. Not opaque enough, but we can add some more. There we go. Looks good to me. Now peel up the nail vinyl. Kind of looks like a chili pepper. Whatever. Do any necessary cleanup. And 20 minutes later, it's dry. We're going to add the top coat. And just place the watermelon seed right in that wet top coat. Perfect. It's so cute. Last but not least is the sandy beach nails. Yes, this uses real sand. Let me show you how I did it. First, apply base coat. I got this sand from my sandbox and I sifted out all the big particles out of it so it's more fine. You can use these small rocks in the nail art too, but I'm going to use something else. So with some clear polish, I'm just going to paint my nail with that. And then dip it right into the sand. And that's the first coat. Let's do another coat. Dip it in. And 
Wow, that's looking better. Let's do one more coat. And I'm just going to use a cuticle pusher to scrape off excess sand sticking out. And you can use a Q-tip to clean off the sand from your skin. Now the sand will be kind of wet and squishy, but it will dry in about 20 minutes. So it's all dry, it's kind of hard and crusty as you can see. This is a wheel of rhinestone decorations I have, and it has these little colored pebbles which would be perfect. So I'm just using a toothpick and some clear polish and just putting some polish right in the gap between my skin and the sand. And I'm just picking up those little rhinestones and placing them right in that wet clear polish. I'm going to make them go along my entire cuticle and put some little ones on the sides. And there we go. I think this design looks really neat. What do you guys think? Do you think you'll try doing this? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. My subscribe button is down below if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. But until then, see you next time. Bye! Mm-hmm.